you do it? Come on, Dozer. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. I'm running away from you. Dun, 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 dun. Dozer. Come here. Come on, Dozer. Come here. There he goes. Ta-da. You are this is one of my Central American vine snakes, and it happens to be a snake that I'm completely fascinated by, even though I can't focus my damn camera. Really green is tough for my iPhone, but uh, this is rear fanged. Uh, but I've already made friends with this guy, so he uh, now trusts me quite well. I did a video with a female, and she is not nearly as lovely. She's uh, out for blood. He's really good. He's confident. He's already figured it out that I'm his buddy. God, what a just killer, killer species. Oh, that's kind of lovely. What do we got here? So this is Lucille. This is one of our American alligators, and she's a little rambunctious. If you take a look, you'll see. What does rambunctious mean? Oh, uh, she wants to take a little bite. I thought she was nice. Uh, she is not as nice as our alligator Ooh, Wally. You mean Wally? Yeah, Wally's great. These are from the United States, and uh, they're not. <laughs> They're not as good a pet as uh, people used to think they were. A lot of people used to keep them in the 70s and 80s in their bathtub, but this is still a young alligator. They can get up to and over 10 feet long, so not something you can keep in your bathtub. We keep it in New England too. Yeah. Which is a feat. Keep these guys we keep the other one in the basement. Yeah, she's got a, her own big room <laughs> and a water tub for her to hang out in. So. Is there something behind me? Seriously, guys? <laughs> We're filming! Jeez. Yes, you guys, th these guys, we, we, have, we had Sokata in here that was pushing people around. We had to get rid of it. It's such a bully. Yeah. It's not very polite to speak with your mouthful, but guess what? Yeah. Through my yeah. stupid, crazy interpreter, I can still talk. Look at my crazy, googly eyes. Right now, I know everyone misses me. I did not want to forget about you. So right now, I'm just going to do some eating. Because I have a date with a new lady. I'm Snarfles. I don't want you to go. Alright, okay, so... This is a really odd T positive. It has togi and blood in it. And I just has a nice light, which I don't say is a crappy, overcast day. This animal is going to go through a lot. This is actually T positive. Very different. All right. I guess I have to say goodbye before I pack you up. Literally, say goodbye, Kevin. Yeah. Tilapia butter cock fry. These are very protective adults. They'll attack you. Put your hand in. They use it off way too. So these guys laid eggs and then the female put them up in her mouth and held them until they were free swimming. Boy, they're just, these guys are just eating like crazy. They're so on point. Literally, Kevin. What did you say on the phone, Kevin? I just told. I go to my customer. And I'm like, I go, I go. Is this Lou the baby, or are you gonna cry? The cry baby. Wait, 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 Kevin. What do you take to have too much black on it? It's funny. I just told him shut up. I can put that in the video. I know. I, I know what he wants. All right, guys. So we're uh, gonna be doing a little unboxing here today. Uh, we got some new animals in that we want to kind of show off. So uh, if you've been interested in some of the uh, retics that we post, these are some new ones we got in. Some of these are going to be for breeding programs and some of the stuff we're actually going to be letting go for sale. So let's see what we got in here. Uh, 
heat packs in there to keep them warm. All right, let's take a look. So this one right here should be a lavender marble motley reticulated python. And these are really, really pretty. The marble gene is something newer that we're working with. So those are not something that everybody's got. Let's see what we got right here. Take a look at that. Wow. Really, really pretty. Really pretty looking retic. It's good. Excuse me. Sorry. We're hanging out with turtles. We're filming here. Yeah, we're kind of we're invading their space today. This is our new film room, or one of them. Yeah. Look how great Rob looks in his 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 habitat. He's so dark right this now. This is my though. natural habitat. <laughs> so we'll stick that one right, back we're... in there. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff we got because these things are really really cool. It's... We should have some retics in there. Ah, uh, and some geckos too. We got geckos. Oh, we got geckos. So let me stick this one over here. Take a look at this. This is actually a Pine Island Chihua gecko. So the Chihua geckos are uh, in that same grouping with Lichianus geckos, Crested geckos, Saracens, and Gargoyles. But I honestly like the Chihuahuas way more. It's they are just like the go. coolest little geckos. And this is a young one. They do get to be uh, a little bit bigger than this. The top and out around, maybe 12 inches long. Big, big one. All right. Really cool. Oh, come here, you. Before we lose them in the cave forever. Yeah. yeah. See, you just like blend right in with the water. Oh, yeah, we water. never find that one. Never find them. Nope. He'd be amongst the other ones that live in the building. Yeah. Toke geckos. So, you guys know we have a lot of geckos. It's free roaming. The yeah. free rain. You free, do what they want. Free roaming toke geckos. They're <laughs> terrifying. At night, you can hear them calling and they steal your dreams. So in here we got a Moro Lichianus gecko, which these are the largest species of gecko on the planet. The Lichianus geckos. Big, big gecko. So this is a young one. And we'll actually probably be raising this one for our, our uh, future programs for education. Really pretty gecko. Just awesome. Here, let's take a look. I'm waiting for you not to put something on tight. It's just going to crawl out of the crawl box. Crawl right out of the box. So this is a lavender sun tiger male and a lavender sunfire platinum tiger female. These should be some really pretty retics. Let's see. I'm just going to do this. Just pour them right out onto my hand right here. Check those out. Ooh. Put the color right in there. Yeah. That's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Whew, nice looking retics. Look good your hands too. Yeah. yeah. A little pee in there, it's fine. Sometimes it happens in shipment. Check those guys out. Okay, let's see. We'll do another reticulated python. So this one is a motley marble reticulated python. So again, that marble gene is something newer, not a lot of people are working with, so we are integrating this stuff into our projects to try and get some really pretty looking things. Oh, check that out. Let's try to get some better lighting on that. Yeah. Yeah, right there would be perfect. Yeah. Check that iridescence out. That is an incredible animal.
How do you get your hair that red? Bleaching it and then dying. Blood of babies is the answer. The, the blood, <laughs> the blood of my sworn enemies. Literally, Kevin. What did you say on the phone, Kevin? I just told, I go to my customer and I'm like, I go, I go, is this Lou the baby or are you gonna cry? The cry baby. Oh, well, we can't, we need to have too much black on it. It's funny. Just told him shut up. I can put that in the video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. I know, I, I know, know what I don't he know wants, and 